Hello everyone. Here is the fifth video in Art of Clearing Prelims. Through these series of videos, I am trying to help you to clear prelims. If you will implement all of these, I am sure you will ace this year prelims with ease. So today we will discuss how to prepare science and technology for UPSC prelims. You must be feeling directionless, especially if you are not from science background. Don't worry, this video will guide you through a comprehensive plan to prepare for the science and technology section of the UPSC prelims examination. We will cover uh, in this video essential topics, key resources and effective strategies to help you gain clarity and confidence in this subject. This subject is often seen as gateway to UPSC prelims because the number of questions are even more if you see collectively an essent medieval art and culture put together, science and technology is still more than them. So this is the importance of the subject. So first of all, if you are not from science background, then from where to start? Because to even understand current affairs, understanding the base is very, very important. If you are not aware about the base, you will not be able to understand any current affairs. So where to begin? NCRTs are your best base. I will tell you detailed uh, list of chapters which you have to refer. First, class 11th biology. Class 11th biology chapter number 5. It will tell you about principle of inheritance and variation. Very, very important. Then chapter number 13, photosynthesis in higher plants. Then chapter number 14, respiration in plants. So all plant biology will be covered. Now class 12th biology, we will see chapter 4. Reproductive health. A lot of questions have been asked by UPSC on this. Then chapter 8 to 12, it will cover comprehensively biotechnology and human welfare. Again, a very, very uh, favorite area for UPSC to ask questions. Then class 12 chemistry book, chapter number 14, environmental chemistry, very important, specifically in last three, four years. Then chapter number 16, chemistry in everyday life. All the applications of chemistry in everyday life has been comprehensively covered. Not only important for UPSC, but also for all the PCS examination. Then class 11th informat informatics practices book is there. In that there is a, a chapter name which is emerging trends. And it is covering all the emerging technology in a very lucid manner of information and communication technology, which is a very, very uh, favorite area of UPSC to ask questions. Okay. Now what next? Have you, are, you have covered all of these and now what to do next? The next thing is PYQ last seven year themes. Last seven year themes, you have to cover it. They are getting repeated. The themes are getting repeated and they are extremely important in science. So uh, I will tell you detailed or areas where you have to focus as I have done the PYQ analysis for you, but you will also do it by yourself. So if I talk about biotechnology, first of all, let's talk about biotechnology. So technologies like CRISPR, RNA, DNA, gene editing, these are very, very important and their importance in agriculture, medicine and vaccine development and the ethical issues uh, attached with it. Then in ICT technology, uh, they are asking blockchain, you know, cryptocurrency, AI, Internet of Things, 5G, 6G technologies, cybersecurity and digital infrastructure. These have been the areas since last seven, area, yeah, last seven years. Now in modern physics, in modern physics, they are asking about gravitational waves, quantum computing and India's contribution in it like LIGO, you know, uh, all of these will be asked. Uh, in space technology, uh, when we will discuss, we will talk about Chandrayaan, etc. Okay. Then energy and material science. Energy has been one of the very important theme since the year 2020. So in energy technology like HCNG, hydrogen fuel cells, solar pumps, waste to energy innovations. Then nanotechnology and material science has been also one of the favorite areas of UPSC. Carbon nanotubes, graphene, nanomedicine, their utility in energy, medicine and defense. Okay, so nanotechnology is very, very important. I uh, will cover all of these themes in, in the revision modules of Prayas for you. Okay. Then space and environmental technology. In space technology, all the uh, missions of ISRO 
which are in use will be very very important and first of all before that you need to understand the basics of space technology you know how how a rocket is launched the basic technology behind it the launch vehicles of isro what are the various types of launch vehicles okay so some basics a little bit of basics you need to learn and the application of satellite in agriculture and disaster management is very very important next is environmental technology so in environmental technology they have asked about bioplastics carbon capture and global and indian initiatives on sustainability which is again very very important also while you are reading the isro missions it is also important to read some of the um, important international missions specifically of nasa and of the spacex this has been also sometimes asked by upsc but isro missions are of utmost importance okay. now what is more important compared to even the pyq themes is to have a tab on what is coming in current affairs many of the questions will come from directly the hindu sunday edition and pib articles so how to cover it you will not be able to cover a uh, newspapers and make notes i know how much of workload is there uh, and the magazines which are coming the compilation they are not at all covering the hindu and pib though they are neglecting because it takes a lot of hard work to uh, to include them okay and also the people who need to make them should be well versed in science and they themselves should have cleared prelims again and again so we are try, uh, trying our bit please do not miss regular uh, practice of mcqs posted on karmyogi patshala app we have uploaded now 90 plus tests of uh, covering hindu express and the pib so it is coming we are covering based on the daily news which are coming so if you are solving them regularly it will help you in science immensely because there is a clear uh, description clear uh, solution also given in in these uh, the in these questions so practice it also if you want help from my side then in prayas prelims mentorship program the enrollment will start in uh, in 2 3 days in that i will be covering all the pyq important uh, the uh, important themes i will also cover the hindu sunday edition and pib important articles so i will be covering all the things comprehensively you just need to read ncrts uh, beyond it okay so and and practice questions so if you think that you need our help and also in prayas there will be a uh, lots of questions lots of high quality test and current affair questions will be again inculcated from hindu indian express and pib articles and there will be my revision lectures as well in the prayas prelims mentorship program for science and technology so it will come in 2 uh, 3 days the enrollment will start uh, so if you think you need my help then you can enroll in it otherwise also through youtube lectures through my uh, free initiatives through our karm yogi patshala app free quizzes will be posted and i am here to help you i hope this lecture will give you uh, a, a direction to cover this difficult subject also uh let me give you certain more tips is that we have only 174 days left for prelims so consistent daily study for 174 days can give you the glory if you are reading one day very well second day you are not reading lack of consistency will cost you you need to work very hard there are only 174 days left 100% commitment will give you the success sure sure success for prelims okay so let's have a uh, recap of whatever we have seen for science and technology section first of all you need to start from ncrts the important chapters i have listed okay and then i have also listed the important areas based on pyq themes which you need to cover you can cover either from uh, if you want to cover it by yourself you can cover it through google through you can also cover it through different ai uh, like tools which are available like chat gpt etc you can also cover uh, through youtube videos to understand the basics of technology if you want to do it by yourself okay if, and uh, also uh, you need to keep a tab on specifically the hindu sunday edition and pib articles a uh, lots of questions will come from that and practice daily mcq if you have not covered the previous mcq start practicing it now it's only 5 6 questions it will hardly take time but will give you a lot of lot of dividend in the prelims examination at the end 
174 days are left 100% commitment will full discipline will help you to clear prelims thank you very much take care best wishes